Hi friends, my name is Rohan Balachandra. Today's video is about never make these four mistakes in recession. Many of the developed countries are already in a recession. Some more countries are expected to enter recession in 2023. Recession happens when the economic growth in a country becomes negative for two consecutive quarters. Usually when a country is in a recession, it has a negative impact on many people and personal finances could be affected. During a recession, many people lose their jobs and business may be slightly weak for business people. In today's video, I'm going to cover the top 4 finance mistakes to avoid in a recession. Number 1 is Panic Selling of Stocks When stock markets fall, the value of a portfolio decreases too. This may cause mental and financial stress for many people and many investors may panic sell even good stocks at lower prices. Even though you may not want to sell, circumstances may force you to sell. So be very very careful about this and stay disciplined. Point number two, lack of emergency fund. Many people understood the importance of an emergency fund during COVID first wave in early 2020. In a recession, there is always a chance of job loss, business becoming dull, etc. In such cases, when your income temporarily reduces or stops, you must have enough resources to meet monthly commitments. For example, most people have EMIs, children's school or college fees, regular household expenses, insurance, premium, etc. which cannot be avoided just because you are going through a tough financial situation. Having 6 months of monthly expenses as emergency fund in a separate bank FD will ensure that you have nothing to worry mentally or financially. Point number 3. Postpone investments. Many people have a misconception that it is best to postpone investing for the future until the economic situation in the country improves. This is in fact the opposite of what should be done. When a country's economy is dull, stock markets could be slightly dull too and hence investing at such times will be very profitable for long term wealth creation. Fourth point is unnecessarily borrowing. Borrowing too much is never a good habit. However, borrowing during a recession is very dangerous. Many people are overconfident of the stability of their career and feel that there can never be any problem. Unfortunately, if something goes wrong, the impact on their finances will be very very negative. It is said that the only thing worth borrowing for is to buy your own house since without a loan, purchasing a house is almost impossible. Loans taken for vehicles, electronic gadgets, etc. are usually not worth it since you are paying interest to buy a depreciating asset. If you like this video, please click the like button. And type in the comment section, in your experience, what are the other finance mistakes we may do during a recession. By typing your comments, you will be sharing some information which you have and other people will share the information that they have in the comment section and all of us can learn together. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye and all the best.